Well, hey, hey, hey there, pedal people. It's the Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to dig into the Ampero Editor. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, take a minute to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities. Well, the Ampero Editor is one of the unsung heroes of the product itself. Uh, it enables us to access all of the various features of the Ampero from a graphic user interface on our computer, which to me is quite appealing uh, because yes, it is a very intuitive interface and yes, you can make changes quite easily here on the Ampero. We've, we've already covered that and you can watch the videos that we've done uh, where we've done that in fact. Um, but the other thing to keep in mind though is that the um, the, that the editor enables you to, I guess, view it in a more friendly way, especially when you're making adjustments to various amps, uh, various cabinets or effects. It just makes life a little easier. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and plug in the Ampero to your computer via USB. And once you've done that, you just simply launch the editor and it will connect to the Ampero and load up all of the patches, load up everything that's on the Ampero, bring it into an interface. So there you have it. That is the interface of the Ampero editor. Um, now the first thing is uh, at the top here, you've got the settings and this is where you would set up your general settings. Uh, you've seen these in the, in the GUI before, but it just makes it a little easier. Like for example, you could, you, you could tell uh, foot switch one what you want it to do when you tap it uh, versus hold it. Um, same thing goes when you do a combination of foot switch one and two, two and three, three and four, um, and all of the other various uh, preferences. Then of course you've got your MIDI, you've got your about, you can update the firmware, uh, the help, uh, and the release notes. To the right of that we have the drum section and this is where you can turn off and on the, the backing track. So let's bring that up. Okay, so you can set the volume. You can set the tempo. And then of course you can set the style. So I'll turn it down a little bit. So you can go to say, if you just want it basically a metronome, you can have that in various time signatures. So anyway, that's kind of a neat feature. Um, the drums actually help out quite a bit, especially when you're starting to get to know the, the Impero. It just makes it a little more fun to get used to it. Now, uh, to the far left here, we have the uh, factory patches and the user patches. We also have a search engine here. So if you want to know about all of the different overdrive patches, just type in OD and that will bring in all of the overdrive patches that have been created for the Ampero. And if you just clear it and then hit the enter button again, the entire patch list will show up. To the right, we have the uh, patch name where you can uh, rename it if you want to. Uh, you can also use the arrow keys to scroll up and down and you can see as I'm making the changes here, those changes are being reflected on the Ampero. To the uh, right of that, we have the control expression button and this is where we can target what the control button is going to do, what the expression pedals are going to do, just like on the interface here. It's in the upper left corner there. Um, but this just makes it a little easier, I think. So if we go to control settings, you can tell it what you want it to do, what, uh, whether you want the uh, control button to turn off and on the expression, uh, whether you want it to be a tap tempo, uh, or whether you want it to be a module and a tap tempo. Below that we have the, the expression one settings, and this is where you set up what you want the expression pedal to do. As you can see, you have four different targets. Uh, additionally, if you have a second, uh, a second uh, expression pedal, like say a soul press or something like that, you can plug it into the Ampero and then you have all of that functionality available to you here as well where you can have four different targets. Then of course you've got your quick access knobs. So those pertain to the three knobs here. Uh, you can tell it exactly what you want it to do. You have your rename, your save, your import, your export, and then you've got the master patch tempo. So if you're using like tempo based effects like delay, or filter, this is where you would set up that tempo to happen. Now, moving on, we have the different modules within a patch. Uh, we also have the master patch volume too, and you can change that just by clicking and dragging. It's easy, right? Um, now this is, I think, where the real magic of the product comes into play, um, is that you have all of this great, you have all this great GUI inter information here that's at your fingertips. 
Now, we have the, uh, the Boost, we have the Drive, the Tweed Lux, uh, the Gate, um, the Tweed uh, Cabinet, we, have, uh, we don't have any um, guitar EQ, uh, we don't, we, the phasers turned on, the delay and the reverb are also turned on. And this shows you the signal flow as it goes through. Now, the cool thing here is that I can go and turn these modules off and on easily, but I can also switch them out quite easily. Um, and let's just go, let's start with the, with the amp for a second, because I want to show you how neat this is, okay? So we select amps, and you can see now that there's a graphic interface that goes along with each one of these amps, because maybe you don't know what a Vox is. Maybe you don't know what a Vox AC30 is. Maybe you don't know um, what, a, what a Fender Tweed amp looks like. Um, or you don't know it by name, but you know what it looks like, I should say. So from here, it's really easy. You know, use the use the uh, the tweet, use the um, the effects list here for your amps, and you can see what it is. And then, of course, you also have a very good description. Now, above that, we have the cabinet, and the cabinet is uh, this is one of the other cool features of the product where we can start uh, changing the position of the microphone with the impulse response. So if I turn up the amp here. Let's, uh, let's actually turn off the effects. Let's turn off all those effects so you can just hear the amp by itself. So from here I can change the position of the mic to outside of the speaker where I'm going to get a totally different tone. Um, I can also change the microphone. So I can go to, say, a ribbon mic if I want, which is kind of a Royer sort of idea. And you can also notice from here, import your own IR file. So yes, you can import any impulse responses you want into the uh, Ampero editor, which is great because there are literally thousands of them out there for you to work with. So you have uh, your effects one, you can turn it on, and then now you've got a whole list of different effects you can work with. And once you select that effect, you get the product description to the right and then all of the different uh, parameters. Now this is a good example of a chorus that is locked into the patch tempo up here. So if you turn the sync on, now it will sync with the uh, it'll sync with the uh, master tempo. Uh, same thing goes for all of the other different parameters or all the other different modules, I should say, within the uh, Ampero editor. They're all here for you to use. So simple, right? <laughs> Right, and uh, we've got the delay. Um, here are all the different types of delays. And of course, these are all based on the binary amps or the binary pedals, I should say, so the lo-fi. Well, probably would help if we turned it on. Same thing with the reverb. It's all there for you. Very easy to use. And so once you've done all of that, uh, you can then save it. But that's kind of the essence of what the Ampero editor does. And it's a great feature to have here. So again, it's one of those other value add features that you've got. Um, and I can't say enough about it really, that, that makes it, it just makes it one of those invaluable little tools. But for more information on the Ampero editor and the Ampero itself and all the other products that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook uh, and Instagram, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, and have a great day.